my next guest is, uh, is the debonair, swashbuckling star from the golden age of film. He just wrote his autobiography, Sparks Fly Upward. Here is Stuart Granger. I'm going to read, if my. I may, before I say oh, no, 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 no. He tells of Lawrence Olivier's oh. desperate marital crises with Vivian Lee and how Olivier arrived at his decision to marry Joan Plowright, Vivian's crack up in Hollywood and Granger's tragic comic chase of the nude star around her home oh. and in her swimming pool trying oh. to force tranquilizers down her throat, okay. his round the world whirlwind <laughs> tour Enough. with Ava Gardner, his house sharing with Michael <laughs> Wiley, Elizabeth Taylor, and Spencer Tracy's drinking problem. Oh Good heavens. Oh, God, isn't that awful? You wrote on I never that? wrote that. I didn't write that. You didn't write that? That was Putnam's. I mean, my <laughs> Putnam wrote that? Uh, they wrote that. I didn't write yeah, you that. you got to watch out for those Putnams. Because I've got, I've got an English copy. Got you an mean copy. you did not have creative control over that? No. But on the cover, you have no control. I, I have an English copy, and they bought the whole English thing. And I wrote the English copy of stuff, so it's rather dignified. Now, the reviews in this country were not all that great, but they were great around the world. Yeah. They loved it around the no, world. No, in America, Why you see. Why do you see, suppose? Well, you see, in England... Australia, Canada, I went there and I went across country and I went to all the TV shows and the radio shows and then I went to these shops and they advertised Granger's going to come so all these Just elderly the ladies came out of the woodwork because nobody wants to spend $15, do they? But if they said, to Ethel with love, Jimmy Granger... And they go uh, for it. They yeah. go for it. So, I mean, it was a big success. It was a smash. In fact, it was a bestseller everywhere. I come over here. They don't even bring me over. I stop here on my way to, to Australia. And the public, public relations from, from, from New York ring up and they said, but Mr. Granger, everybody wants you on their show. And I said, well, what the hell do you think? I'm forgotten entirely because, I mean, you know, I did make a couple of good films. I should say. And there's the, some ladies and, and even gentlemen who remember. And so I was on the, uh, I wasn't on yours, unfortunately. I was on the Dick Cavett show twice. Mm -hmm. And I was on the Johnny Carson, Good Morning America, Good Afternoon America, Good Evening America. <laughs> and the Tom good Snyder, night, who was, who was oh, wonderful. You know, I was terrified. I was terrified of Don Snyder. They said, look guy. out for him. Oh, I got on. Guy. He was wonderful. wonderful he said, this guy. is the greatest book. He said, I bought a copy. I couldn't get my hands on it because my wife stole it away from me. And you read this. I mean, he was wonderful. But it's a funny thing. I was stopped. I go walking. I've got a bad chest. I go walking in, in, in Santa Monica. And people stopped me and said, oh, I loved you on, on the Dick, uh, Dick Cabot show. I said, did you buy the book? And they said, what book? <laughs> oh, no. I said, oh. I said, what the hell do you think I was on the show for? I was trying to sell a book. <laughs> okay, we're trying to sell yeah, something. No. We're all coming yeah, together. All these, all these made people. $15. Uh, sparks fly upward. Yes. And they will when you come back. Don't, oh, you're gone? You gone? Oh, no, we're coming back. Oh, you're coming back. Oh, good. Mm. Right, my <laughs>